will be very brief. Luke, Luke chapter, Luke chapter two, please quickly. Luke chapter two. We're blessing the Lord. You see, dedication. Listen carefully. I want you to learn something. Dedication is an act of humility by the parents of any child. When you bring a child to God, you are acknowledging that regardless of your sense of responsibility, regardless of your financial capability, the vicissitudes of life uh, and the factors that need to synergize themselves together to make a child become a responsible man is not absolutely within your control. So when you come to hand over a child to God, it's not religion. Unfortunately, we make a lot of religion out of it. But it is a declaration by the father and the mother that Lord, we are handing this child over to you. You gave us this child as a loan and we are wise enough to hand over this child. You see that Luke chapter 2 and we'll read a few verses. We are reading from verse um, 22 down to the last verse but then we'll be jumping them when the days of our purification talking about Moses now according to the law of Moses were accomplished they brought him to where? Jerusalem to do what? to present him not before a man of God not before a church before the Lord 23 okay let's go to 24 please so we can hurry up and to offer sacrifice according to that which was said in the law of Moses, a pair of this and that and that and that and that. Next verse quickly. And behold, there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. The same man was just and devout, waiting for the consolation of Israel. Read on. It says, give it to us 26 please. Okay. And it was revealed to him by the Holy Ghost that he should not see death before he had seen the Lord Jesus Christ. I want to show you two things that happened. And he came by the Spirit. How did he come? Not by the will of man, not by the traditions of a church. He came by the Spirit into the temple. And when the parents, dedication, except one of the parents are dead, you don't dedicate a child with the father alone or the mother alone. According to scripture, the parents must be there acknowledging together. It took two of them to bring that child there and it's going to take two of them to hand over the child to the Lord. Are we learning now? It says to do for him after the custom of the Lord. Read on. Let's hurry up. And he took him up by his arms and blessed God and said, Lord, now let your servant depart in peace according to your word. For mine eyes have seen a child. What did he call the child? What did he call the child? That means dedication is the place where the prophetic destiny of children are unraveled. He didn't call him Jesus. He said, my eyes have seen what you call a little baby now, but I see the salvation of Israel, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people. Uh -huh. A light to the Gentiles. This is a man prophesying on Jesus. And the glory of thy people Israel. 33. And Joseph and his mother marveled at those things which were spoken of him. We are reading down to 40. And Simeon blessed them. So he did not just bless the child. He empowered the parents. To be able to help the child become all that God destined him to be. And he said to Mary his mother. Behold this child is set for the fall and the rising of many in Israel. And for a sign which shall be spoken against. Yeah, a sword. Okay, that, that. Let's go to Anna the prophetess now. Next verse. The Bible tells us that there was one Anna, a prophetess, the daughter of Phanuel of the tribe of Asher. The Bible says she was of great age. 38, please. And she coming into that instant gave thanks likewise unto the Lord and spake of him to all them that looked for the redemption. The redemption in Jerusalem. 39. And when they had performed all things according to the law of the Lord, they returned to Galilee, to their own city. The last verse. And this is the result of that dedication. 
because of what happened in the temple certain things became possible what became possible read on christians and the child grew and then was strong in spirit filled with what and what happened great grace was upon him this became the experience of that child because the parents were able to hand him over are we together Please subscribe to Jehovah's Space YouTube channel. God bless you abundantly. Amen.